Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, I'll show you a very simple way of solving such radical equations without having to square both sides several times and run into higher order polynomials, which may be too tasking to solve. Now, to solve this radical equation, we are going to start with a very simple substitution. We are going to call this quantity, that is the square root of 3 plus x, y. So we have that y is equal to the square root of 3 plus x. Now, of course, you know that this comes with the condition that y must be greater than or equal to 0. Because you know that a square root must always be positive. Now, when we square both sides of this equation, we have that y squared is equal to the square root of 3 plus x squared. The square is going to take care of the square root, leaving us with y squared equal to 3 plus x. Now, let us rewrite the original equation, including y. We have that the square root of 3 minus y is equal to x. Once more, when you look at this equation, you'll see that x must be positive because it is equal to a square root, which must always be positive. So we also have that x must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, when we square both sides of this equation, we have that the square of the square root of 3 minus y is equal to x squared. Once more, the square is going to take care of the square root, leaving us with 3 minus y is equal to x squared. Now we have a system of simultaneous equations. We have that y squared is equal to 3 plus x. And we have that x squared is equal to 3 minus y. What we are going to do is that we will subtract this second equation from the first equation. When we do that, we have y squared minus x squared is equal to 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. And x minus minus y is equal to x plus y. Now, when you look at the left-hand side of this equation, you will immediately see the difference of two squares. And you know how we factorize this. You know that this left-hand side is equal to y minus x multiplied by y plus x. And on the right-hand side, we have x plus y, which is exactly equal to y plus x. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will divide both sides of this equation by y plus x. And we can comfortably do this because we know that both x and y cannot be zero at the same time. Let us assume that x is equal to zero. When you come back to this equation, you will see that zero plus three is three. So when x is equal to zero, y is still going to be the square root of three. Now this is going to take that and we have one on the right hand side. This is going to take that, leaving us with y minus x is equal to 1. And from here, we have that y is equal to 1 plus x. Now, what we are going to do is that we will use this and go back to this equation. We will substitute 1 plus x for y in this equation. So now we have that 1 plus x is equal to the square root of 3 plus x. Now we can square both sides. 1 squared is 1. 2 times 1 times x is plus 2x. x squared is x squared. And this is equal to the square is going to take care of the square root, leaving us with 3 plus x. Now, rearranging this equation, we have x squared. This x is going to come over to the left-hand side and become minus x. We have 1. 3 is going to come over to the left-hand side and become minus 3. And we are left with 0 on the right-hand side. Now, we have x squared. 
2x minus x is plus x. 1 minus 3 is minus 2, and this is equal to 0. Now, we have the quadratic equation, which we can solve by factorization. Since the coefficient of x squared is 1, all we have to do is to find the factors of minus 2 that add up to plus 1. And those are going to be 2 and minus 1. Because 2 times minus 1 is going to give us minus 2. And 2 minus 1 is going to give us plus 1. So we can factorize the left-hand side of this equation as x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 and of course this is equal to 0 and of course from this statement you know that either x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0 when we subtract 2 from both sides of this equation we have that x is equal to minus 2 and when we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 1. Now, we have found two values of x. But of course, you know that since x must be positive, this value of x is unacceptable. So the only value of x that satisfies this radical equation is x equal to 1. And now to check our result, all we have to do is to substitute this value of x into the original equation. We have the square root of 3 minus the square root of 3 plus 1. This is the square root of 3 minus the square root of 4. Of course, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So this is equal to the square root of 3 minus 2. This is equal to the square root of 1, which is equal to 1. And x is equal to 1. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.